Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is City Certification Video Training and this is the 11th video in this series and in this video I am going to show you how to create virtual machine on Zen server so here is my environment so we we have four virtual machines which we are using from Zen, uh, from a few videos so the first machine is Win2K12 DC01 here you can see I have installed Active Directory and DHCP and DNS role on this server. You can see my uh, domain name, Victor Info Soul, and my domain control name, which is Win2K12DC01. And uh, I have I have done few changes on my uh, these three machines in a RAM. You can see it has been decreased from 8 to 6 GB, and these these two Zen server has been increased from 6 GB to 10 GB. So Surtex DC01 which is my delivery controller basically I have installed all the core component of Surtex Zen desktop 7.11 on this machine you can see Surtex director store front studio and also I have installed the Surtex Zen server here so you can launch the Surtex Zen center and I have here two Zen server which is Zen server 01 and Zen server 02 you, s you can see here it's running Zen Server 1 and Zen Server 2 and I have launched the Citrix Center I am going to connect this machine so put the credential here for root account for Zen Server 1 you can see it's connected now same I am I want going to connect the Zen Server 2 also so now we are connected with both the Zen servers and now let's create a virtual machine on Zen Server 1. So in this task we are going to how to create a virtual machine on Zen Server. So I'm going to create a machine on Zen Server 1. So right click on Zen Server 1 and click on new VM. So here you can search the uh, operating system name. So I'm going to install the Windows Server 2012 R264 bit. So click next and here you have to put the name so I am going to use here like win2k12 r2 mem1 mem01 and click next and we have installation media so you can set the like physical media or you can set the like uh, your ISO library so I am going to select the ISO library which is connected with Zen Server 1 and I am going to select the Zen Server R2 and click next and we have a like RAM which we want to place the machine so I'm going to place this machine on Zen Server 1 and we have 9 GB RAM available on this machine total out of 10 GB so click next and on next we have to assign the RAM if you want to make it 4 GB I'm going to make it 4 GB and CPU we have a topology here number of CPU 2 and we have like if you select 4 you can see 2 socket to 2 socket with 2 core pairs so go ahead and select this click next and we don't have any GPU here so no mesh so click next and we have a storage here so minimum it's required 32 GB to install and you can rename the name here so call it like disk 0 and place it here so it's going to store in iSCSI disk 0 1 so click next and its network is selected here click next and you can see here start the start the new VM automatically so I don't want to do this click create now now you can see the machine is creating uh, it's almost done creating disk now for 32 GB disk so here you can see the machine is created and now it's it in power off state so we can start the power on machine so you can see here the boot options we have CPU options and we have journal information here if you click on memory you can see the memory allocation like 4 GB and if you want to edit you can go ahead and edit from here and also you can see the storage like 32 GB disk which is coming from and if you want to move it you can move or you can like 
edit the size everything is you can do it from here if you want to add a, add another disk you can go ahead and add so attach disk if the disk is already there in a place in a in a store so you can add them so and we have networking we have console here where we can see what's going on the server and we have performance catalog snapshot and such so I'm just going to click on console and start the machine so it will start here you can see the drive one is our ISO image is selected and machine is getting a start now so you can see it's loading now The Windows installation is same as we are doing the traditional Windows installation on any platform like uh, any virtualization platform on any uh, like you can say any hardware machine installation it's the same so just wait for a few more seconds to get the window here installation window and now you can see the Windows is loading So welcome setup Windows Server 2012 R2 click next and now you can go ahead and click install button so I'm going to install a Windows Server 2012 R2 data center with GUI so click next and I accept the license term click next and custom installation so you can see 32 GB drive is there click next to begin the installation so now you can see the installation is begin for Windows Server 2012 R2 and I am pausing the recording here once the installation is done we will resume the recording from there and we'll see what is the post installation task for the virtual machine once uh, on a Zen server so pausing the recording for now so now you can see the installation is done we are here to put the administrator password for admin account oops it's not set correctly So now we have to install the Citrix tool. If you go here and see, right click on virtual machine, you will be able to find this installs Cit uh, Zen server tools. So we'll need to install this. So once we are able to log in, then we will install the Citrix tool on this machine, and then we will configure the basic IP address setting and host host name and then we will join this machine in domain and check is everything is working fine so let's wait for a few seconds so send control alter dell to machine and logged into by putting credential here And now to install the Citrus um, Zen Server tool, install here and it will give you. Do you wish to install the media? Yes, I want. And now you can go ahead on C drive. My computer, you are able to see there the installation media is mounted. So double click on it. So you can see the installation is started. Go ahead and close all the window. It will uh, basically this installation is silent installation. It will not going to ask anything to you. Just it's run the installation in background and you will get the prompt to restart the machine after the installation completed. 
you can see yes please wait while windows configure configure citrix and server windows management agent so it's installing the agent basically now you can see it's installed and uh, please uh, press yes to reboot now so I, um, I want to reboot my machine now so it's rebooting and Zen Server tool installation is done for on this machine now and now we will re, uh, rename the machine and do the IP configuration and we'll join this machine in domain so just wait to restart this machine So send control to Dell to login and put the credential here. Now we'll start from like configuring the IP address, then we will join this machine in domain. So right here you can see it's taking the IP address from DHCP server if you want to proceed with that. We can proceed with that so it's perfectly fine you can see here on my active directory server I have installed a DHCP role as well as so you can see here address lease is getting the IP address from here only and we'll change the IP address so basically let's join mach machine in, in the domain so right here change and we'll put name win2k12 r2 mem01 and the domain which is my domain victorinfosol.com hit enter it will ask you the password to join machine and domain and put the credential here and welcome to victorinfosol.com domain so we are good to go and machine will restart so if you go to active directory users and computers you are able to see there the machine is created you can see the machine is just created and I want to move this machine in servers so it's moved now and server so you just wait for a few seconds let's try one more time to move this machine and here you can see the machine is moved now and here the machine is getting restart so after restart we'll try to join from domain account which is your server admin we'll try to join um, log into our virtual machine by that account only so just wait for a few more seconds for the login screen so here you can see is now applying the domain policies and hit control at Dell now I'll we'll try to log in for the domain account which is server admin and credential for that so we have logged in successfully so this is all about creating the mach virtual machine on Zen server and installing and configuring and post installation tasks so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye